In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a Murata module uh, made for communicating over LoRa and Sigfox. Uh, I'm using Cubemix. Cubemix is a software provided by uh, ST Microelectronics to simplify the configuration. So we can uh, create a new project uh, in Cubemix. Uh, in this project, uh, we can select a board uh, to, uh, to start with the configuration of DevKit. Uh, for this Murata chip, the board is uh, B-L072. Uh, uh, so you find it, uh, you can select it and, and choose the default configuration. Thanks to that, you have uh, all the pin already set up as a um, different pin are used internally by the chip. Uh, as here you see the, the pin of the integrated MCU. So we need to integrate a watchdog to start. It, it's really useful. We activate it and select a prescale of 256. Uh, as a LCC configuration, we select the internal uh, crystal uh, for better precision on LSE. And uh, in a sys uh, part, uh, we ensure that SysTick is a time by source. Uh, it will be used to count time uh, when when wake up. Uh, in the ADC, we can activate the temperature in the reverse int uh, channel. Not uh, mandatory, but uh, sometimes useful. Uh, for the timer, uh, we need to activate the RTC. The RTC will be used uh, to wake up automatically the the, the chip from uh, from. Uh, long sleep. So we need to have an internal wake up activated. Uh, and then we are going to select the pre divider asynchronous to 127 and the synchronous pre divider to uh, 255. Uh, this is to comply with uh, the settings in the um, the IT SDK and the RTC CC clock is divided by 16. The Timer Team 21 will be used uh, for the clock uh, synchronization. So the clock source is an internal clock source, and uh, this will um, allow to have a better precision. Uh, the, the rest of the configuration is done internally. Uh, you can activate the LPUART1. Uh, it's interesting for debugging. Um, for, for this, uh, we will set up as asynchronous and, and the speed, we will uh, change it a, a bit later. Uh, the, the speed is, uh, is 9, uh, 960, uh, yeah, 960 bit per second uh, because we, we connect the, uh, this uh, LPU art to, uh, to the LSC, uh, um, LSC crystal, uh, which is uh, 32K only. So 960 is. Uh, is the maximum 9600 is the maximum you can uh, you can achieve uh, on this LPR. You can also activate the USR2 for debug, uh, and then we go in the clock configuration. So as we use the LSE uh, with the external um, crystal, uh, we have to select it as a source uh, for for the RTC. Uh, and uh, and then uh, we uh, can verify that the, the main clock is is correctly configured. But this is the case if you select the, the board. Uh, so we have a 32 megahertz generated from a PLL and the internal HSC uh, clock. And then for the LPU art, we selected the LSE source uh, to preserve energy uh, and so on. So now uh, the chip is configured so we can go on the project manager part. We need to select a project name, uh, ensure that the, the folder used is the right one and corresponding to uh, the workspace uh, in, uh, in Eclipse. The application structure is advanced and for the toolchain we select uh, SW4STM32 which is corresponding to Eclipse uh, project and uh, working with AC6. Now we click on code generator, it's important to uh, select generate peripheral uh, code to have a, a specific uh, file for uh, GPIO, for uh, UART and so on initialization. Uh, and then we generate the code. Uh, the code is generated and we can open the project into the uh, AC6 EDE. Uh, so this will launch the um, environment. We can save the project. Um, yeah, so the project is saved in the uh, uh, skeleton code um, directory. So that's why it's already uh, saved when I do it. And, and now uh, AC6 uh, is going to start. 
and uh, we, we are going to get the, the code structure. So the project is ready, the Murata is configured, and, uh, and now we are ready to, uh, to make some, uh, some code uh, with, that, with that environment.